85.95. So that's over the last two weeks, that's one kilo down, the power of one. That gives me a bit of um, encouragement. That's nearly 30 pounds over the last 10 weeks. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. Non-scale victory number one. 20 odd push ups. 10, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, 25 push ups. And when I first started 10 weeks ago, I could only do one. And at full extension, my stomach was still touching the ground. So that's a win. Non-scale victory number two. My waist is down to 39 from originally it was 50. So pretty happy with that. Okay, friends, you'll have to bear with me. This is almost an exact replica of the building that I'm gonna to describe to you. Now along here there was when it was being built there was three levels of scaffolding going up to the roof and we were up on the roof putting the uh, screwing down the roofing sheets and the guy that I'm going to describe, describe to you John used to stand on the top there and make these horrible comments to women walking down below anyway I'm going to find somewhere a little less noisy a little bit warmer to relate the rest of the story, I'll see you in a bit. There's a seagull with one leg and I know exactly how he feels. G'day friends, welcome back to another Tall Tales and True. I found a, a spot that's uh, not quite as windy as it was anywhere else and a little bit of sun for my poor weary aching bones. Now there's a little bit of backstory, I'm going to show you a spot where this actually took place but the building has now been demolished so I went to another spot that I know where there's a building almost identical which you'll have seen by now so I want you to imagine this building the last building that you saw with two or three I can't quite remember layers of scaffolding up one two three up to the roof with a ladder and, a, and all boards connecting it all together a ladder on each level so you could climb up to the roof and that's where we were working on the roof of this building screwing in the roofing sheets and this Jono he used to strut around and whenever any attractive woman walked past on the footpath below he would call out coarse disgusting comments to them you know catcalling grabbing his crutch just just making an exhibition of himself because he had three or four young guys like myself. I was only in my early 20s, mid 20s. And uh, yeah, he had an audience and he thought it was pretty funny. Anyway, on this particular occasion, we're working away and I've heard him start calling out to somebody down below, which I couldn't see because I was busy working. And he's making his crutch grabbing gestures and calling out disgusting gynecological things like I'm talking horrible things anyway I didn't take any much notice and the next minute one of the boys has said Jono she's coming back and uh, he's walked over and looked over the edge and a couple of the other guys have too and by this, by this time I'm intrigued too and I've looked over the edge and here's this really attractive young woman about mid 20s short skirt long auburn hair very very like beautiful looking girl and she's climbing up the ladder on the first level 
and he's de he's desperately crying out. He's re yelling out, "You can't come up here, love. You can't come up here. It's 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 oh and S rules." She's just kept on coming, and then he's he's ended up retreating into the middle of the roof and pretending to be busy, and we're all just sitting there wondering what's going to happen. And the next minute, she's popped up onto the roof, climbed up the three levels. She's taken her high heel shoes off. She's come up in her stocking feet with pantyhose or stockings or whatever she was wearing. And she's come, she's come over, she's marched over to this Jono, who I've got to, I've got to tell you, like he's, he'd be in his late 40s, balding. He had a straggly sort of um, ginger beard, really skinny, but with a, a big pot belly hanging out the front. So he was not exactly a magnificent magnificent specimen of manhood and she's walked straight up to him and given her ripped straight into him giving him a piece of her mind how dare you talk to me like that you miserable little man and she's just laid into him and as i was watching he visibly shrank you know i know that's my imagination but that's the way it seemed he seemed like he just got smaller and smaller and she said something like, um, you know, if that was your wife or your daughter or your mother or your sister walking down below, you'd be absolutely disgusted by that display. And yet you continue to do it to people who you don't even know. And uh, of course he was, he didn't say a word. Everybody was speechless. We all just standing there, just mouths open. Couldn't believe what we were seeing. Couldn't believe that she'd actually climbed all the way up. Anyway, she's turned, she's turned around with a toss of her head and this great big mane of hairs sort of swung around. And uh, she's gone down to the, turned back, walked across to the ladder and started to climb down. And it was an involuntary action. And I've just gone like this. I just started clapping because it was probably one of the most brilliant things I've ever seen. And uh, he just glared at me with, just hatred and malevolence and uh, two days later I wasn't working on that job anymore he got rid of me but so uh, I heard through the grapevine that she'd got the number off from the truck downstairs for the office and rang up and complained so he did get in some strife over it apparently will it, will it, will it have changed his behaviour probably not but uh yeah, that's that's my uh, tall tales and truths. We're gonna, I, always, I still get a smirk and a smile when I think about it, even all these years later. And that was probably 1982, 83. That's how long ago it was. So, yeah, thought I'd just share that one with you.